Rajesh Hyderabad and joining us in Hyderabad, if I may say, is the man behind all this food, Chef Vijayendra Singh. Chef, sure. first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a very big food. This is a very big challenge, right? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a great channel for us, you know, to maintain all the standards of food in a huge um, culture gully. When you get an assignment like this, ki ye, we have a road which represents the whole country and we have to now produce the food of every part of this country as authentically as possible. How do you do it? Well, we need to hire people from, from the different, different regions to produce food. Okay. So, um, initially when we planned this entire, uh, I mean, KOD, so um, this was planned that 24 cuisine has to be served in one place. So, myself personally went, you know, places to places to get the people who are really making a um, um, uh, regional food. Now, we've got, this is Hyderabadi food. Right, okay? sir. The original looks like the original. Have you all enough? This Haleem is spectacularly good. It's very nice. Another meat and dal speciality, dal chak. I could be eating this in Hyderabad. This food is that good. Now I also believe they have a Tamil Nadu segment which makes some very interesting dosas. They're coming here right now. So not only has the dosa arrived from Tamil Nadu, we've got some wonderful prawns that have arrived from Kerala. Right, sir. Dosa to sab jagah banta hai, lekin unke uske saath itne varieties of chutneys aur sambar rasam nahi banta. Aur maine suna hai ki aapka dosa house mein bahut saara dosa hota hai. I have about 50 varieties of dosas in my Chennai. 50 varieties of dosas in Chennai. Even the desserts also comes in dosas. So something you know, ye thoda sa unusual lagta hai, lekin dosa house hai to hai. To main ye Kerala prawn, fried prawn, Kerala style. Fried prawn. I'm gonna try one of these. Well, so we've done Chennai, we've done Hyderabad, we've done Kerala. How many states are left now? Let's see. Okay, it's time to head east, Bengal. Let's go. So I'm waiting for some Bengali food to come. In the meanwhile, let's find out what guests from other countries think of this place. Hi. Hi. My name is Kural. Hi. My, my name is Roy. Roy. Yes. Which part of the world? I am from the United States. Uh, have you tried any of the food here? We're going to try Lucknow, actually. I have been sampling the food, a lot of food actually. Okay. And, uh, and the which, food is really good. Which is the best? Lucknow is very good. Lucknow? I'd say try the Nihari. Yeah. The lamb. Oh, okay. Nihari. It's very good. Okay. And what do you think of the way this is done? It's a bit like Vegas, isn't it? Maybe it's more like that, yes. Yeah, Fantastic. Hey, thank good you to, very good much. Good to talk to you. Pleasure. Bye bye. Ah, now for the food. So this is splattering from this from Calcutta actually, Kolkata as they call it now. Ah. The Bengalis when they make the potatoes. Oh the Bengalis when they make the potatoes. Delicious. Mmm. World famous in Calcutta, Khosha Mangsho. The sweetness in the Khosha Mangsho comes out of the fried onions. And when in Bengal, how can you do without Bishti? Kheer fully. For me, this is like three kilos in an instant. But this is delicious. It's a bit like a ras malai. The cream on top, or rather the rubbery on top, is thickened and it's amalgamated with the rasgulla completely to make one dessert and not rasgulla floating in malai called ras malai. Fantastic. I need a break from all that food and what better break than a tea break and what better place for tea than a sam. Thwa chai ho jai. Chale. Okay, we've got lots of varieties of tea over here. I've chosen three. This is the Darjeeling. This is the Earl Grey. And this is a wonderful cup of jasmine, which has been infused with a portly. Ah, 
थोड़ा चाय हो जाए आई लाइक माई टी विदाउट एनीथिंग इट नो शुगर नो मिल्क जस्ट है all the hard work i've done running from one state to another state tasting all that food there's nothing like sitting down relaxing and having a cup first of darjeeling tea then of earl grey tea and finally jasmine and may i digest all my food so that i can eat some more